um, I'm not sure it's all working. I can see some of you coming on. I mean, white gecko coming out of your ears today. Um, I have a slight problem with demo today. There is no um, machine. Um, so I'm going to talk you through it. Honestly, this is so easy and so cool. I am so excited about uh, you know how well it works. Um, so uh, I'm just going to uh, talk you through it. If I can find a needle, a proper needle. Um, no, she must have taken them all with her. There's a big needle, but uh, um, she's taken all the pin cushion. Oh, no, there's one. Oh, that needle will do if I want to use it. So, how is everybody? Um, it's what day is it? It's Thursday. Um, I'm very excited because I'm off now for four days. I'm going on a hen do to Dorset. Which should be interesting because the weather is not um, supposed to be brilliant. So uh, we shall see. Um, I am not sure that this place, I don't know what has happened here. I don't know where that's going to reach or anything. Let's see if I can move that over without completely wrecking the joint. Hopefully that's okay. Uh, a couple of things. We're going to try and get a... Um, we. This is the royal we because I'm not here. Um, we're going to try and get a raffle on this weekend sometime and there might be a sale going on um, with, um, what are we going to put a sale on? Um, planes and bumbleberries and all bumbleberries. Um, so we've been through, Beth and I counted it all yesterday so hopefully it's all up to date. Um, so yeah that's going to be the next sale is planes so stock up on all your planes because um i'm not sure what she's been doing 20 percent whether it'll be 10 or 20 percent i don't know right what are we making today let's have a look and see who's there because you're all been talking and i can see it moving up oh i'm i'm sure it'll be a brilliant hen do uh, we're staying in a yurt um so hopefully they look we're going to walnut farm glamping and those have a look those yurts are something else they really are so hi everybody uh all these names how are you doing how was the wedding Anne? um i saw a couple of pictures of you sat with a glass of orange juice wasn't it um but it seemed like you'd had a really nice time Planes as planes. Yes, we are going to all the planes. We do have some plain fabric, but yeah, all the planes are plain. Um right, okay. Nikki, you're back in Spain. Oh, I am jealous. I am jealous. And all that warm weather. However, ladies, I'm glowing today, which is why we're going to make a neck cooler. How cool is this look at this so this is a neck cooler right now if we could sew it and me put the stuff in um i'm going to try and do it by hand it um it's so cool you will it's unbelievable it's so cool so it is just brilliant now all this stuffing in here is not actually stuffing it's crystals these water gel, water storing gel crystals. And they, honestly, I got so excited yesterday doing it. Um, you can get uh, similar ones, they're little orbs. Um, I think the official ones are orbies. And you just put them in water and they swell up. Well, this took 30 seconds and it was as swollen as this, right? So um, we're just going to talk it through cooler today in Portsmouth that's down Portsmouth is down south isn't it sort of on the thing and this is really really cool um so the pattern that I first saw hang on let me just check what I've got in here all together I've got my cam snaps I needed that however we're not going to be able to um 
put it all together so I don't need my leggings I've got yoga later now the one that I saw turned around and they wanted you to use a 36 inch length right so it would have come down here and you would sew this so this then would tie now I've got cam snaps so I thought I'll use the cam snaps okay but you could if you don't have cam snaps or don't want to use poppers or buttons or anything like that you could leave it longer um, so that you tie it okay so if we go to this one so I've cut this at let me move let me move the page you have some Orbeez ah there we are they, I mean if I'd have remembered what they were called when I was looking for them I'd have had those because um, this one here the, the, the crystals there's a bit of powder and there's a like a, a residue you know, all the tiny pieces will come through but I would imagine it the more that you use it the less likely it is for you to um, uh, for it to, to come through okay because you're going to get a certain amount of dust it's a bit like you know sugar or or salt or anything you get those minute pieces and the orbies are actual orbs hence the name I suppose um, orbs and so they would keep their um, keep keep their substance I mean you can get giant orbs but they're no good for this right so I've used a five inch right this is five inch by five inch by 25 inch okay um so you could make it out of a fat quarter so from a fat quarter you'd make four this size okay so you're just going to put it right sides together like this now I sewed down one end and then all the way up all the way up the side now if this one was a 25 so let's cut it off there like that so that we're dealing with a small amount so I would have sewn all the way up there and down one end all right turn it out the right way okay you can press it if you want but you're going to shove it in some water so it's it, it really isn't um, going to to matter very much and and then once it's out the right way which would be like this okay once it's out the right way like this you want to sew about two inches about two inches from the end put a top stitch in okay and that is going to give you this flat piece um, which you've got no uh, crystals in all right um, that there you could put a buttonhole in it um, or you could sew a popper onto it but that's the bit that you're going to attach around your neck and then you're going to put now I'll show you how much I put in there all right this is the scoop that comes with it all right it's a tiny little scoop I put two small scoops so not quite full not heaped just level scoops I put two into each of these little pockets I could probably have gone less you probably don't need even that much now I then sewed five inches I put another two scoops and so top stitched another five inches and then I did that so you get four four of these um, 
pouches and you can see it's quite full and this has been left overnight not in water so you can imagine how puffed up so you could probably get away with a, um, a spoon and a half um, to, to try it out I mean you could make a little sausage and put in two and then put it in the water and see how that goes and then this end no that would be this end I just folded it over and top stitched it and then put my cam snaps on and that's it now I know that I'm known for heavy cutting out type things and a long time um you know things taking a long time I said to Linda I've seen about 10 minutes she said no you won't <laughs> where are we what's the time it's quarter past and I started late and we're done okay so that's it I'm off now um these these I bought you could get these in the garden center these are just for you to put into your you know if you put them in in your plant pots and stuff and they absorb all the water so as they're the you know they'll just take the water out of these crystals so you might have some of these already sitting out in your shed they are um, I'm expect it says do not swallow or breathe in the dust um, keep away from children and pets now I'd probably use the Orbeez um, if I was doing it for kids uh, you could just make it and stick water in it you know, stick it in the water and shove it in the freezer I've not tried this in the freezer so that might be the next thing to try but it's it is really cool it's cool but it's also really cool and they reckon if you if it starts to get warm you just take it off turn it over and put it back on again and it's surprising how cold it is I don't think I can tell you any more about it um, if there had been a sewing machine it would have taken longer but um, I love this fabric so I'm going to make another one because it was really really quick and it just made me very happy so um that's it um what else have you been up to you'll be lunching early today then yeah i told you it'll only be about 10 minutes lind sorry um you don't really need me to go on because um you've you've had sarah twice already today so that's quite good you could make short versions to go around wrists and ankles perfect uh even if you just made a piece about that big so uh if you did like a 10 inch 10 inch by 10 inch um you could put it if you've got a migraine or a headache you could put it on there um and that would be perfect that would be ideal you could put it across your eyes um I mean if you were worried about anything you could I suppose make it a double thickness um which would give you a little bit more um your is less likely to come out if you use a batik uh the the weave is tighter I believe on a batik so they'd be quite good I mean they did say batiks were good for face masks so um so there you go so I will be taking this with me over the weekend um, for my hangover pretty much and uh, I could make one to go with every outfit they'd be ideal if you're going on holiday uh, somewhere warm you could make these and once they're dry because I would imagine I'm I'm surmising because I thought it might dry out a little bit over over the night but it didn't I mean you squeeze it there's no water coming out not really um, so but eventually they would dry out and go back to crystals and then you just recharge it there you go damp cloth damp man's handkerchief cools the blood flow to the head that's very good um, I always put my wrists under water cold water if I get really hot cold water on your wrists um, because 
the blood is going through there, back through your body, so you cool that bit down. Um, and they also reckon if you cool your liver, the liver is the hottest part, so you want to cool that. So one of these round your tummy, sitting on your back, might give you a cold in the kidneys though. Right, I'm just chatting rubbish now. I'm. You need four, okay? I'll make you four, Meg. I've got loads of crystals. They're brilliant, absolutely brilliant. They um just makes my daughter. So I'll make it. I'll make her some. And I've got to play with my um cam snaps. Right, that's 20 minutes of me wittering on, or 15 minutes of me wittering on. I'm going back to uh, continue packing uh, up the cre create and cra craft, create and craft. That's what it is now, isn't it? Create and craft. I'm going to go and do those orders. And uh, Sarah's done really well. She's uh, sold out of quite a few things. So Linda and I have started the packing because, of course, I'm not here tomorrow. So uh, we'll do as much as we can today so there's less for them to do tomorrow. I'll see you next week. And uh, Sean will let you know what we're doing next week. Uh, tomorrow or Saturday. Bye. Have a lovely weekend. I'm going to. I'll see you soon. Take care. Oh.